Hey guys, it's Aaron with Midlife Crisis. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be working on the bumper. We're gonna be putting a heavy duty steel bumper on the back of the taco. Let's get started. Hello, and welcome to Midlife Crisis. My name is Aaron, and I invite you to follow along with me and my son Austin on our journey as we build out a few camper vans and customize a new Toyota Tacoma into a beast. Then later in the year, we'll head out to Southeast Asia to ride a couple of adventure bikes through multiple countries, sharing the amazing experience with our viewers and ending our tour in Thailand. There, we will decide what to do next, maybe buy a sailboat and sail around the world. Who knows? So please hit subscribe and follow us on this adventure. Okay, for today's install, we're gonna need a couple of screwdrivers, depending on the length we need to reach a couple of clasps. In the underside a wrench 10 to 12 millimeter we're gonna need a tool to pull off uh, some of those little plastic locking um, whatever you call them you need your screw gun and we're gonna be using a TP 30 for the Allen wrench setup other than that uh, we've got our little trusty dolly we always use and here is our bumper it is an under armor it's a quarter inch thick steel. Now our truck comes with the hitch already mounted onto it. So with this kit, it doesn't need those extra brackets that you would require if you do not have the hitch. Also, I've already installed the plastic bumpers for the uh, reverse sensors. Uh, so those are all in, we've put the plastic clamp in for the license plate bracket because we have the hitch we do not need these four bolts with their lock nuts and washers those were to mount those into the truck also because we don't have the reverse sensors we do not need these little screws that are to attach the sensors uh, onto a clamp or bracket that's behind this so other than that we have our bolts and spacers that are going to go right here we have our bolts lock washers and spacers that are going to go here on both sides and we have two undermount clamps that i'll show you later where they go we've got some rubber baby buggy bumpers for the back side of this to protect against any bumping against the paint We'll get those on in a minute. And of course, some twist ties for the existing wires that are currently clamped into the bumper, but we do not have those clamps on the new bumper, so we'll have to wire them in uh, or clamp, you know, twist tie them in. I'm gonna go get some heavy duty stuff because this is kind of cheap wires, whatever you wanna call them. Anyway, so we'll get some more heavy duty stuff that lasts a lot longer to put in underneath. Um, but first, we gotta take this thing off. So let's get to that. So up here you're gonna have, this is your light, goes to your lights back here. And of course, same thing on the other side. And here is your, um, this is your tow hitch. So 
So we're going to be disconnecting right here. I'm not sure which way those plugs go, but I'll get to that in a second. So we're going to take this off. We're going to disconnect this from the car by these two plugs right there. There we go. And then we'll disconnect this plug from that. So let's get that done and then we'll reconnect. All right, so now that we got our cables disconnected from the main vehicle here and here, these will come off with the bumper. But now we have to pop up, we have to get the plastic piece off the top of the bumper and it's down with these little clamps here, here, Barely see it up underneath there. My finger is. You're gonna have two of them right here and here. And then you're gonna have a few back here as well. Here, here, and I think there's another one back underneath there. Yeah, you can see it underneath in there. There you go, that little one up there. So once we get those off, we can take the plastic piece off the top of the bumper which will give us access to the bolts that are in it. So let's get that done. So easy. That'll probably be the hardest part of the build. Alright, we just got our bolt fit to kick off here. So you've only got six you need to worry about. We got our lights out of there. And there's these clamps all over underneath. So you have to get those and this one and this one. You gotta get all those out so you can pop this thing off so you can get access to the bolts. There's two bolts on the frame here. There's two bolts here and two bolts here. These hold this to the chrome and the rest of the, the bumper. So you don't need to worry about those. Just these two here, this one, this one, and these two here. So we'll get those taken off. Now that that's off, we need to remove the wiring harness from here, 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 and here, and there, and everywhere, because uh, we'll need to reuse that. So let's use our little 
plastic removal tool. <clears throat> Actually, these are all needle nose pliers. Pop them right off. Save this. <clears throat> we can set this aside. Sell this to somebody. All right. So that's what it should look like when you're done. Just come straight off. And now we're going to set this bad boy on there. Get everything going. Somebody to help you. So you see where these two bolt holes are? That goes where this is. So I'm just going to slide it up on there. Okay. Careful not to bang into the truck. No, don't try and center it, just let it sit up there. Um, I'm going to go underneath and attach two of the other ones, so I'm going to need you to just make sure it doesn't move anywhere, like on top of me. So. Okay, once you've got the bumper sitting on there, there's a hole right here. And you're gonna take this bracket right here and feed that from the back into that hole and put your washer and your lock washer on it and then we'll get to the top on both sides. You gotta do it on both sides. Okay. Now that we got that done, we need to get the washers. These are gonna go underneath right here for these bolts to go through this hole. And then we're gonna have one or two or multiple of these washers are going to fit down here between the body and the bumper here and uh, act as a spacer. So we'll get working on that.
it on this side. Finger, finger in the top, finger in the top, it's about even right there. This is where that TP30 bit is going to come in handy. So I'll just make sure we got our adjustment there. We'll have to do by hand. Okay, all the bolts are in. Let's get the accessories back on. Also, you want to get me some uh, twist ties, some big ones? So we can go ahead and uh, clip our little. Grab me the cutters too, the blue handled cutters, and get these things off of here since we're not using those anymore. The blue handled cutters. So we're gonna just remove all this stuff right here since we don't need it anymore. And then we'll get it wired back in there and we'll use some, uh, some heavy duty twist ties to hold it up in there underneath. These are nicer twist ties. They're much wider and they're a lot stronger. So they're gonna last a lot longer than those little tiny ones they give you in the kit. Those are worthless. Get rid of that. Being careful not to cut any wire or go through the loom. into our factory connection and plug the lights back into the factory lights and wire it in we should be done. Okay and there you have it finished product. It's nice and clean on the sides pretty close. I adjusted that to about a fingers I can stick my finger in there. Um, I got my D shackles on there. Like I said, we will do another video with the lights. Um, we are gonna hook these up to the reverse lights so that it's much brighter when we're backing up. Got these bad boys on there. Got the factory lights. They're a little loose. I'm gonna throw some um, clear epoxy in there and just to keep them from moving around. I don't want them to vibrate or anything. So you might wanna do that as well. But it looks pretty good. Nice on the sides. So that's it. One more uh, to add to the list. Um, we will start working on, let's see, what do we got over there? Eh, I think we'll do the front bumper winch installation next. And then of course the front bumper. Um, anyway, as the kid runs away, like, subscribe. We'll see you later. Bye.